Good news this morning in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. A new study suggests that higher amounts of so-called good cholesterol could lower your risk of Alzheimer's by up to 60%. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us more about good cholesterol and how to get it. Good morning. Good morning, Betty. Well, before we get into the study, give us a little refresher course. The difference between good and bad cholesterol. Well, so many people hear the word cholesterol and they think it's got to be bad. The fact of the matter is, like most things in medicine, we need it in moderation. It's very important to the function of our cells. When you talk about the difference between good and bad cholesterol, a good way to remember, H cholesterol, HDL is the healthy or good cholesterol, mm. LDL is the lousy or bad. Oh, that's to good. remind everyone yeah. of their target goals, there are two numbers you need to know. You want your LDL or bad cholesterol below 100 and your HDL or good cholesterol over 60. All right, what is the correlation between cholesterol and Alzheimer's disease? Well, this was a study done at a Columbia University. They looked at over 1,100 people, age 55 and over, and put the, divided them into groups based on their HDL or healthy cholesterol number and found that those with an HDL above 55 were at a 60% lower risk of having Alzheimer's disease. So this is what we called an associated finding. They didn't explain cause and effect, but we know very clearly that what's good for the heart is also good for the brain and vice versa. So that's one theory. Okay, so that being the case, how do we boost our good cholesterol? Well, there are a couple of easy things. They're mostly behavioral because we have to remember 75% of our cholesterol comes from our body. 25% of it comes from our food intake. So when you talk about elevating the HDL or the good cholesterol, if you smoke, stop. That can increase your HDL numbers by sure. 10%. Exercise can boost your HD mm. HDL, very important. And eating a diet low in carbohydrates also can raise that number. I imagine diet is something that a lot of people will be trying to, you know, fix or moderate in Absolutely. order to boost their good cholesterol. So what can you do when it comes to diet? Well, when you're talking about diet, we really think about the LDL or the lousy cholesterol yeah. and lowering that number. So some easy things, you can set, you can substitute vegetable oils or nuts for saturated fat. So if you're cooking with butter now, switch over to a vegetable oil whenever possible or olive oil. Oatmeal, which you mentioned you had for breakfast, yes. very important in terms of lowering the LDL. And if you like your eggs, you don't have to give them up, but just substitute egg whites for a whole egg and you will dramatically reduce your LDL cholesterol intake. Now, some people might still need medication, but these are important things they can do. Very good information and easy stuff, too. Thank Absolutely. you, Dr. Ashton. We you do bet, appreciate Betty. it.